this happened this happened last time in you know 2006 and 7 they're just like it was like somebody threw seeds for gurus yeah. like they just chucked them out and and <laughs> all these gurus like popped up you know they were all over the place because the market was such that i was just telling somebody the other day i said you know when stupid people start making money in real estate I start to get a little nervous and by nervous, I mean excited because something's shifting when stupid people can make money. That means something's going to happen. There has to be a correction because that's exactly what happened last time it was a bunch of morons making money and they didn't even know why or how they were making money. They just knew they were making money. Right. Mm -hmm. And you know, Joe down the street, Somebody told him real estate was a good idea. So he went and bought some and he made some money. Doesn't know how, no clue what happened, but he made money. That's that's usually a problem. It's usually a, a signal, right? That, that something is amiss. So really what point. does that mean? It means tighten, tighten your numbers down. Make sure you're buying on fundamentals. Make sure you're not, make sure you know what you're doing and you're not the stupid, you know, whoever down the street that doesn't know what they're doing because yeah. those people are going to get hurt. Yeah, but I, so I just I, I I think it's funny because no matter what area of you know whatever it is you're trying to learn, Heather, there is a guru for it or multiple gurus for it. In the real estate market right now, there just seems to be an inordinate amount of them. Yeah, and this happens for a couple of reasons, and I'll tell you one of the reasons. And you guys should just use this as a guide as you're out there if you're looking for someone. You want to call them a guru or trainer, or mentor, or whatever you want to call them. If you're looking for someone, you should um, you should understand this piece, and then we'll give you a couple of other tips about about what you can ask. But people do this because the deals get harder to get, and so they've had deal flow for a year or two. The business was going well; they have overhead. Now the deals are harder to get. Overhead yeah. has gone nowhere, but income is dropping, and they go man, it's harder to get deals. Mm -hmm. But I see this guy over here, he's making a million dollars a year and all he's doing is selling a course. And I already know how to do this because I bought a course before and it worked for a year for me. And so I'm going to create a course because I need the extra million to pay my overhead because I can't figure out how to get the deals, enough deals to be able to pay the overhead for my business. And I, I promise you, that's exactly what's happened. And since real estate is such a hot topic right now, because, you know, Joe down the street just made a fortune on a property and he doesn't know how, that means everybody's talking about it. Since everybody's talking about it, it's easier for a uh, new guru to get out there and sell an info product. And then typically that they bolt right onto that info product. They bolt some coaching, right? That's how they become a guru. So they, they sell an info product and wham, coaching.